because I've got this new thing that I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to start doing some journaling. We're having it. Oh, very okay. nice. You don't. <laughs> nice. Hey, up, told lad. So I'm off to bog. So hey, up, told lad. I'm off to bog. Good morning. How are you today? Tired. Well, After I've been squawked at to get out of bed. Well, you had to get up on our bed sweepy because we have things to do today. We are. We are actually going out. I know we were out yesterday, but I mean out to a destination that doesn't include the car. We are going to socialise. We're going to meet our friend Sandy we've not seen since the summer for an outdoor flask of coffee. Oh, we need to make one. Yes. Oh, that's not yes. We are using the flasks that we got from um, David. One or two. Oh no, they're not these are. We're going to use them in the thermos. Oh right, okay. Oh, the other one's in the one. travel luggage, aren't they? Yeah, it's in the travel luggage. One or two? Um, just one. One of you, alright, wait. Yeah. So, yes, we're going to have a social distance meet. <laughs> it will be absolutely freezing, but oh well, we'll get... And we need walking hats, shoes on. Walking shoes. Because we're going to be in a park. Yeah. And there's a little river. So we're going to take some bread and feed the ducks. Okay, so uh, that's what we're doing today. Um, and then when we get back, we've got another bed cover to make. Exciting. And then tomorrow we have to drop them off at our friend Julie's. Yeah, so... Uh, and then are. hopefully she'll take like a day or two and then we can finally have bedding on the beds. Yeah. And then... And it'll look a little bit more like the lodge. Yeah. So, bit of peanut butter for breakfast, yeah? I can't think where, which cover you keep putting it in. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Right, we're just getting ready to go and meet Sandy. Uh, so instead of doing a flask full of coffee, I'm going to do a flask full of hot water and take one of these coffees each, uh, which my sister brought me. Do you want cinnamon latte? So it's cinnamon latte for Nick. Uh, down here. And mint mocha flavour for me. Um, so that'll be a lot easier. Probably need a couple more of these. Where is it, sweetie? Your wallet's down here. Yeah. Right, so you're having cinnamon latte and I'm having mint mocha. Okay. Right, we're on his way. Um, so we're just going to meet our friend for a quick coffee outside and um, she's taking some of the grey paint that we had left over because we bought far too much. We had four tins, however, now we're going to do the kitchen, we're going to keep one and she's going to have the other three. Um, she wants to do a house in the same colour. Uh, I must say it is a nice colour that, it's Venice Grey by Johnston's Paints. Yeah. Um, it's one of those greys that's not blue, it's not red, it's just grey. Yeah. So we are going to call it a garden centre on the way back as well, um, Tongue Garden Centre, because it's um, close by and we're just going to get some more of those stir fry kits. I know we've got Gusto coming, but we've only got four meals coming. Um, so we're just going to get some of them, they are beautiful those. Ooh. And um, I also want to just quickly nip into their stationery section um, for some nice coloured pens because I've got this new thing that I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to start doing some journaling uh, which I'll show you about once I've started it and once I get my head around what I've got to do. Uh, we used to keep diaries, didn't we, when we first met? Yeah. Do you remember? I used to always do a diary and I've done gratitude journals and things like that. No. But I've never just done like journaling. I don't want it to be like, this is what I did today and I did this because we've got the vlogs for that. It's just going to be more dumping my thoughts onto a page and having some... I hope it's a big page. Time. Well, yeah, when I live with you, I've got lots of thoughts to put in a journal. Well, oh, me too. Um, Get me a book. <laughs> Why don't you? Why don't we both do a journaling adventure? It's not, it's not uh, my thing. It's, it's not my thing. I'm I'm more practical, practical and real world. Yeah. But journaling is good for mindfulness. It just makes you just sit and think for a while, apparently. So this is what I'm going to do. So let's get there and have a nice coffee. I've got no bread, I'm afraid. Oh, we're going to bring some bread, won't we? Oh, thanks. Just stick your bum up at me. Whack, whack, whack. It's going to shit on you. What's going to do? So, we're just having a little mooch. We're not back at the lodge, by the way. No. We're having a little... Oh, very okay. nice. You don't... Nice. <laughs> we're just having a little mooch and um, I'm going to have a coffee. There he goes again. I would laugh so much if he actually spat up at you. Oh, you can see his bum all. Mm hmm. Lovely. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> What's he doing? He's actually lining up to, to, to shit on you. <laughs> um, we're going to have a coffee. I'm going to say, where's that duck gone? He's gone underwater. This Ooh. one's going to fire, I can tell you now. Oh, oh he's back. Well, I never, I've never seen him doing that before. 
Um, we're going to have a coffee, we're going to have a little mooch, we'll have a walk in the fresh air. It's got really nice actually now, the sun's out. And uh, then we're going to head to the garden centre and back home. where we're going to get ourselves uh, a couple of chilli willies. Right, we've got to Tongan Centre and thankfully it is absolutely dead, dead quiet. We would like to remind customers Ooh, there we go. that the use of face covers... So uh, we're just going to have a quick look at the food, get some stir fries and I just want to get some pens for my new journaling thing. Right, this is what we came for, the uh, stir fries, food for 10 quid. Citrus oh, stir fry? Fry yeah, cracker, no, yeah that's boring. Nice. So firecracker, chili willy, and a beef, um, Argentinian beef. Good, let's go. Three for a tenner. Right, back in the car, and we just picked this up as well. You didn't, you said no, well, I said no to get them. It looks full of sugar base. But you're gonna have one anyway. Well, I'm hungry. Woo. Sicilian cannoli white chocolate. They look and delicious. They look. Let me try one, I don't know what these are. They look like brandy snaps with cream in. Yeah. But, uh, oh my God. Nice. Mm. It is proper chocolate and all. But chocolate buttercream. Let's try the pastry. Is it crispy? Mm. Sounds crispy. Oh my god, they're absolutely delicious. I've got to say, they Very were nice. like they were like custard creams on steroids, weren't they? <laughs> Very nice. They were just like a custard cream, but sweeter, creamier, and the biscuit was more of a a, a sweet pastry rather than a biscuit. But oh my god, delicious. I could do with maybe mocha now to wash it down with. I know, me too. Maybe we'll have a cup of tea when we get back to the apartment and have another one. So we're just going to nip into the works to get Lee his journaling thing, because they didn't have one in there, which is one of the reasons why we wanted to come here as well. Um, otherwise we won't be to start his journal. So we're going to pop in there and then we're off back to the apartment just to chill for the rest of the day. And hopefully some of the deliveries that I've ordered um, will like turn up today. Oh yeah, we've got the beds off today, haven't we? Uh, and we've had notification that our uh, radiator shelf for the bedroom has shipped as well, so hopefully that'll be here in the next few days. Right, I'm sat on my own in the car. Lee has gone inside the works. I didn't fancy going in because it's just all the same stuff in there. And he loves all that kind of stationery and books and mindfulness and things like that. And to me, it blows the crap out of me. So um, I'm sat in the car waiting for him. As soon as we're done here, we're going to go back to the apartment um, and then make that bed throw because my friend who's going to sew them for us basically says that she she's got all the different threads and the different colours that we're going to need so it saves having to do all that and I'm hopefully if we can make it today we may be able to drive it over to her place um, she can make it and then hopefully it'll be back by the end of this week fingers crossed and as I said earlier on the shelf for the radiator shelf has been shipped today so hopefully that's going to be here tomorrow as well um, and then I've got about six or seven other things that I've ordered that I'm just waiting that I've ordered over Christmas but because things have just reopened they're not shipping yet um, so over the next couple of days I expect to get, get a lot of shipping notification for things that, have, that I've ordered for the apartment like lights, um, light bulbs because we want to brighten up the living room. Um, I'm looking at a corner lamp now for where the dining table is going to be um, so I'm going to need Hannah's help for that because she tends to be the one that finds quirky things that I, I, that I tend to like. Um, so that's today's plan and then obviously when we get back we'll be having a stir fry tonight and um, who knows what else we're going to do. Welcome back. But what we did. Have you got one? Yeah. So I'll give it a quick flash. No. So there we go, that's what he's got. I'm sure he'll show you later on in the vlog. Oh. Although, it's probably going to end up being tomorrow's vlog when you actually set yeah, it up, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Let's get back. Back to the apartment now. And do this thingy me about throw. Yeah. Right, we're back. Nikki's just um, putting things away that we got from Tongue Garden Centre. So I'll show you quickly what I got at the works. It isn't exactly 100% what I would have chosen to get, but it's what they had and I didn't want to spend too much time in that shop. Um, so I just grabbed this bullet journal set because uh, it came with a few different things, some pens, uh, a ruler, tape or something. I don't know what I'll use that for. Uh, it came with some stickers just to make it look a little bit more like journaling. Is that stenciling? Um, some stenciling. Um, and that's the actual journal. So it's basically a diary, a scrapbook and a craft book all in one. Yeah, it's just somewhere for you to 
drop your thoughts and just have a little time uh, being mindful and I've got some different coloured pens as well. I uh, yeah, quite like the silvers and golds and stuff. Can I just fill in page one? No, it you says, cannot. Making bed throw this afternoon. It's not a to-do list. I would ideally uh, have liked a more, not that I'm saying this is girly, but a more manly one, like why a black or blue one. So I got this as well. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why, why, why when you get, I don't know why. A new why notepad. when you have a new notepad? notebook? It's just... Just open that, I want to have a look. It's almost like... I just grabbed that one, I like the look of it. It was it was only a pound in the sale. Yeah, um, do you know what I mean though? When you yeah. get like a, a brand new pad. When I was at school, I always remember I used to get a new book and you'd open it and you would be like, oh, I just want to write in it. But then you didn't want to write in it at the same time. Let's have a look at this one. I don't know, it says Friendscaping on the front, trimming one's friend list on social media. Um, but I just got it because I liked the black and gold. You're becoming like Sazzle. And it was a pound. Uh, so that's my journaling started. I'm not even going to look at it until later on tonight when I've got some time. And um, the first page. Oh, it's got dots. Yeah, that's so what. So you can draw it journaling. Line. Yeah. So the first page will be January, and I'm going to decorate all that for January. Right, so we're just going to have um, a cup of tea, Lee's just putting the kettle on, and um, I'm going to show you now what we bought from Tong Garden Centre. So, as you saw in the car, these um, Sicilian Coloni white chocolate things, which are just like custard creams, as you notice, there's not many left. So we'll have one of them with a cup of tea, and then we brought we bought three um, stir fries, three for £10. Uh, the chicken chili willy, which we've seen in vlogs before, um, the stir fry firecracker, and then this is my favourite, the Argentinian marinade. So I know a lot of our lodgers, when they saw this video last time we went in, went in there and literally cleaned them out, didn't they? Oh, and then we're having this right for now. dinner right now. Slice it up, don't need brown sauce or anything because it's got the pickle on. And um, our friend Sandy, when we went on the walk, she brought us this, which is basically another Christmas scene, which obviously we're not going to get to use until next year, but we might put it up for a few days because I just love Looking at the little village. Somewhere. Um, go on then, put it on. There we go. It's brighter off camera um, than it looks actually on the um, on the screen. It's, it's, and it's very obviously snowy scene, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's glitter. There's going to be sparkles all over the apartment for well, about a we'll, year. Well, what we'll do is we'll put one in the lodge and one in the apartment. And then we have this little fella. And these. Oh, so I'm not gonna, gonna I'm not gonna say I'm gonna let you guys comment below if you know what this thing is and what it does. So comment below, guys. We will actually use this in tomorrow's vlog, so you'll find out whether you are right or not. Right here we are again, day two of uh, bed throw making. So it's for the king size one this time. Um, so we don't way to make this one because we've only got two of these runs, so one has to be split down the middle. Oh, so there's less flap. Yeah. Right. First things first. I wanna. Get this top edge straight because we had a bit of a runoff yesterday. So. Yips. Ah, Oopsies. That hurt my toe. Right. So. We just had another one of those cream things, haven't we? Each. We were nice. They're basically what are they called again? Sicilian colonies. Beautiful. Let me show you your packet. Um, just if you ever go to Tong Garden Centre. Oh no, where's packet? Oh, it's there. Um, there were 2 dollars uh, that's it, hang on, let me get it to focus, there we go, Sicilian cannelloni. Not cannelloni. Oh no, not cannelloni. Cannelloni, cannelloni, that's it. Sicilian cannoli white chocolate paste shells. What's it filled with? White chocolate flavoured sugar dusted with ice and cream. Obviously very healthy for you, and um, there's just one left. Right, we're almost there with this one, I've not vlogged it because we vlogged it all yesterday. If you want to see how to make a th throw Best like show. we have done, check out yesterday's video because I've logged it more uh, in detail. Uh, but we're just um, hemming. hemming this bit all the way around and then this one's done. And then... Um, well that's it, they're all done. I might have a slice of toast then. Mm. You greedy swine. Nice mince pie. Um, right, so, Lee has been moaning at me. M moan, well, he moans every day, but he's been moaning particularly um, all the Christmas that our broadband speed is not fast enough for him to play Stadia and for him to upload the vlogs. Fast, yeah, that's the main part. So we prepaid our line rental when we moved into the apartment back in September, so that's paid for the year. So we just pay, I think it's six pound for the difference for the broadband now for normal fibre broadband. I've just phoned up and said, how much would it be to upgrade to like the maximum broadband? 70 pence. So our broadband bill has gone from £6 to £6.70 for double the speed. 
and I was expecting when I rang up that she was going to say 12, 13 quid, um, but not. So anyway, we've got broadband for six for 70 pence. Super fast broadband. Crazy baby, crazy. What are you doing, baby? <laughs> what am I doing, baby? Yeah, what are you doing, baby? I'm doing, if you'd like to come and have a look, I'm doing, I'm starting my, starting my journaling. Um, so I'm doing my first page, my January page. I'm just getting So you've written in it and it says January. No, Is that I'm, a sticker? It's a sticker. Oh. I'm getting some ideas off um, Google for like new, new month pages. You've been talking about this, haven't you, for months? Um, we will show you more in tomorrow's vlog. Yeah, and um, I've just been talking about to some of my friends. They're all gonna, a few of them are going to start it, and so we're going to do it together. Right, I'm going to scoff my mince pie now. Okay. Right, I've finished my first page. It's just the opening page. <laughs> Thank you very much, bless you. Um, so there we go. It's for January, obviously. I'm not going to take me most of bloody January to write it. It's been nice just doing that. Even just doing that was nice and mindful. You feel therapeutic. Now. And then on this uh, page, I'm just going to that obviously be my my main start. I'm just going to do some thoughts and stuff about 2020 there. And um, I got this out of the um, draw today, the Disney Year of Animation 2021 daily calendar. So I am actually a bit a few days behind. What, uh, what day is it, Nick? What day, is it, please? Um, I've no idea. What is it? Third. Uh, right, okay. It's, on, the uh, on the first, we had Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Oh, we have we have two for um, for the weekend, and it's the uh, Doug the dog from. Oops, I'm not even showing it. There we go. It's Doug the dog from Up. So if you missed that one, that was day one. That's day two and three. Oh please, oh please, oh please, oh please, be my prisoner. Doug the dog has an interesting approach to taking prisoners, he asks politely. Have you lost it? What do you mean? What the hell are you talking about? I'm reading out what it says on my calendar. So that one can go there. And uh, are we going to go and do some food now? I'm not hungry. I've not been hungry today. Mm, not like you. Those are four nice big sausages. Ooh, wait a minute, it says grill the sausages, but it says put your oven on. Fill and boil your kettle and preheat your oven to 220. So they're not being grilled at all. Mm, so it's not making sense. <laughs> oh God, it's cold in this kitchen, it is cold. Let's have a look what we're having. Right, can I just read this? <laughs> Pop the turn on the making tray and turn them around to 20 minutes. So it's bullshit, they're not being grilled. Right. So we're having mm. Tuscan sausage with Cavallo, Nero, Cold Cannon and balsamic onion gravy. I think it's a doll that right. Oh. Um, I am hungry now, I must admit. After this, I want to try something that um, Sandy sent me to you, sent me earlier. What? It's um, it's like samples of Yorkshire dialect. Okay. And I guarantee you, you won't be able to get half of them. Even though you're from Yorkshire. I'm sure I will, but you won't be able to. Well, you know how my Yorkshire accent is coming more strong, so I'm sure it's I'll get not, it. Yeah, but that's not Yorkshire, that's just, that's just... Yes. Silliness. Oh, I'm just being silly, the way I talk. Yeah, but that... The Yorkshire dialect is not what you talk. I want some kind of chocolate while you're doing that. Kind of chocolate? Some kind of chocolate. We've got any? Uh, uh, yeah, where? Where? What is it? Ooh. Remnants from that what I ate last night. You ate all this last night? I'm Caramel so. sea salt milk chocolate. I'm afraid so. Well, there's a little bit left. It's, mm. a, it's got a weird taste to it. It's, it's kind of like malty. Mmm. Nice. This looks rather nice, it smells rather nice too. I've tweaked it. Oh, why? I've just added a little bit more of the um, the water that it's uh, Just played with the... the excuse me, it's going to be quite dry. We've had this before actually. I think we had it in lockdown one. While we're eating that, we're going to go and watch Mamma Mia as a watch party. Um, so there you go. Nick's choice, he loves this film. Well it's um, not actually, it was Laura that suggested it. Hi Laura. On uh, New Year's Eve, so I thought yeah, because I do like the film, I must say. And, uh, um, yeah. I'm not going out now because the lady that's doing oh, yeah. the sewing, she's not available until tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. So I need to go tomorrow afternoon. Um, so we're going to watch that, we're going to eat this food, and then we're going to do this Yorkshire accent saying We're going to test Lee to see whether he's truly from Yorkshire, because I don't think he is. Right, that was a very nice meal. We're just watching Mamma Mia in the background. And Nick is going to do this, what he's found. Yorkshire right. dialect. So if you're from Yorkshire, Particularly South Yorkshire, say, but you're gonna understand Yorkshire. a lot of these. But let you being from West Yorkshire, probably haven't got a clue. So we'll, we'll do a little bit. Of, we'll do, no, we'll do a bit of a test. Wait a minute. 
So let me get this, uh, this image of the Sandy 70 and I've got a website. So if you're from any other part of the world and you want to know like what is West Yorkshire and South Yorkshire, it's just, it's a county in England, in the UK, which is, say it's that's that, and then obviously there's North, East, West, and It spans from the East Coast almost to the West Coast. Yeah. So when we're at the lodge, we're in, we're in the East Coast of Yorkshire. Uh, when we're here, we're in the West Coast, and Nick is from the South. South, yeah, not coast, not West Coast. What's that? West Coast of Yorkshire. <laughs> and Nick is from South Yorkshire. Uh, so we all have different accents. Um, <clears throat> although to anybody else, we all sound English. If you're not in the UK, we all sound terribly posh. But if you're from within the UK, you can tell the areas, the, the dialects per area. Like I can tell a massive difference from South Yorkshire to West Yorkshire. West Yorkshire always have an infliction in their tones. They always say, no, and okay. <laughs> and my, and you'll hear Lee talk it saying that, and that's why I always take the mickey out of him. So yeah, but the more, South Yorkshire. The more that you take the mickey out of it, the more I seem to be noticing it, so like noticing it. Like, okay. As I'm getting slightly older, I seem to be doing. Your mum and dad don't talk like that. More like no and toast. And yeah, but your mum and dad don't talk like that. I don't know. No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, what are you going to do? Come on, tell right. me. Right, so I'm going to say some phrases to you and you've got to try and guess what I'm talking about. I'll guess everyone. So I'll put them into a sentence yeah. and then you've got to tell me what I'm saying. Right? And then you'll have to translate it for everybody else. Right, let me think of one. Think of one? I thought you'd got them on your phone. Hey, up told lad. So I'm off to bog. So, a up told lad, I'm off to bog. Means, <laughs> hi, friend or whatever told lad hi friend i'm going to the toilet correct uh this one you'll have heard me say this on the blog um all right our lass mm, which means hi like our, our last means wife yeah so hi wife all right our lass which um, is I mean, sometimes you've heard me and it's that it's just a joke all right our lass i'm re chuffed on us that means I'm very happy you know. <laughs> I can imagine there's people watching this and thinking, what the hell are they saying? You need, to say him twice. you need to say them twice. Um, Just for clarity. Eh, that what? Say again. Eh, that what? Means, pardon me. <laughs> it does oh, I mean, means pardon. Can you say that again? Something like that. That what means pardon, yeah. yeah. And eh means didn't hear. Yeah, so pardon. So I didn't hear, pardon. Hmm. Right, Gio now, you're doing me heading. Say again. Gio now, you're doing me heading. Give up now, you are doing my heading. Everybody knows what doing my heading. Like, so give up now, you're getting on my nerves. Gio. Give, Gio means give up in South Yorkshire. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Or give over. Put wood in oil. Put wood in oil? Yeah. Have I got, yeah. Put wood in oil. Oh, does it mean like... Put wood in oil. Does it mean like stoke the fire? No. Or turn the heating up? No. Put wood in oil? You don't know what that is? No. <laughs> of course you do, you will when I tell you. Well, thinking about it logically, it's like putting some wood in oil, but what, I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's not oil as in oil, it's oil. Oh, put wood in oil? Yeah. Oh, so put a piece of wood in the hole? No. <laughs> no. It means shut the door. Um, Put the wood in the hole. <laughs> no, I want to get it that. now. Well, yeah, I oh want my God. it now. You can tell he's not from South Yorkshire. <laughs> right, let me find this other one because this one's got the website with loads on. Some of these, I have to read them like four or five times. So, everybody will have heard of Ilkling or Bartat. That's. Well, everybody in the UK. But well, do you know what Bartat means? No. It means without a hat. Okay. Uh, right then, so if I say a bagsid me a. Uh, a pot pie. I've got myself a pot pie. Yeah, correct. Bags it. Bivit. Bivit means it'll be alright. <laughs> it means don't worry about it, she'll be okay. Bivit. Yeah. Stop your beefing. Like, stop your moaning, stop having a drama. Yeah. That's a good one I can use on you every day. Stop your beefing. E bag gum. Well, I don't really know what its literal meaning is. E bag <laughs> gum is like. Oh dear me, or something like that. It's, oh my god. Yeah. E bag gum. <laughs> stop faffing about. Well, stop messing about. Correct. Well, near it. Well, that's stop. Yeah. 
He's getting on with it. Um, Stop clapping about. Fill the bullets. Fill the bullets means like get stuck in. <laughs> <laughs> like if, if you were if you had a, a, a buffet lunch out and somebody came around, you'd be like, there you go, fill your bullets. I guess being from West Yorkshire, you have picked it up from me over the years, but I don't talk like this. When I go and see my mum, they all talk like this, and I just go like, oh, cringe. Yeah, but I do know a lot of it from being from West Yorkshire. Right then. Get outside and get that ginnel. Well, I know that, yeah. So go outside and go down the ginnel, which is like a little alleyway. Passage. Oh, yeah, passage, yeah. yeah. Our lass is coming round to eat for a, for a pot pie. Is that it? Yeah. Um, my girlfriend's coming round tonight for a pot pie. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I think of pork pie, I always think of Jake now. Me too. I was just about to say the same thing. <laughs> Stop being so bloody mangy. That's another one I can say to you every day. Stop being so mangy. What does it mean? Mangy is a strange word. Yeah, but mangy. Mangy. mangy is the actual word. Mangy is like um, being a baby and being moody and sulky. sulky. It's an odd word. It's one of those words, if you say it a few times, it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Like mangy. Mangy. Right. What, mangy. About, what about maybe? Maybe. Well, that's easy. Yeah, I don't know, he's got bloody monk on now. Another one I could use you as well. <laughs> so it means he's sulking. You sulk more than I do. Do I, bollocks? You bollocks him do. Oh, the os. Uh, means hang on a moment. <laughs> hold down. The, hold the horses. Yeah, yeah, hold your horses. It means slow down. Yeah. Uh, over yonder. Over there. Yeah. Uh, out. Well, is that a trick question? No. Out? Not out, oh, I mean, not O-U-T. Alt. Out. Oh, W-T. Yeah. That means anything. Uh, like, have you got alt in your pocket? Have you got anything in your pocket? Yeah. Pack it in. Stop it. <laughs> people are think, people are watching this and we're thinking, what the hell are they talking about? If you're from around here, then you will have, you will be like, this is all just like no. how your granddads talk. Like, my granddad and my dad talk like this. My mum talks like it, although I do correct her when she does. I've lived in, like, West Yorkshire for 20 years, so I've kind of lost the, the, the South Yorkshire twang. So there you go, that's how Nick talks. I don't talk like that at all. That's how Nick's family talks. Yes. <laughs> my dad talks like that. So, we're going to end the vlog. Thank you for watching today, guys. Um, we've created some bedding. Sibby. That means see ya. Bye. <laughs> uh, or... Nick, goodbye. Or Nick's mum will say Tarakok. Tarakok. No, my dad's a cock. Tarakok, which means goodbye. Love, love. Like Tarakok. Um, so, Tarakok, I imagine it's spelled T A R A and then C O C K. I don't know how it's spelled. Tarakok. Um, what about film? Whenever Nick calls his mum and they say goodbye to each other, it's all Tara, Tara. <laughs> Um, so, thanks for watching today guys, hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. Don't forget to click below. the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, it's yeah. totally free. If you have made it this far, um, please comment below with Tara Cock. <laughs> uh, so I'll be hoping to see lots of comments saying Tara Cock. Extra special points for spelling right. I'm going to go and do my first page now in my uh, journal. And I'm off to watch Mamma Mia and eat chocolate. See you tomorrow. Ta-da!